everyone, welcome to this Knit with Hannah tips and tricks video. I'm Hannah, I have been knitting since I was a child and I teach knitting with various e-courses available on my website knitwithhannah.co.uk. Today we're looking at dropped stitches. You know what it's like when you get to the end of a row, you're so proud of how you're doing, you sit back to admire your amazing accomplishments so far and then the palm of your hand hits your forehead, smack! You've missed a stitch. It is lonely, forlorn, in the middle of the row, unravelled and soon to be gone forever. In this video I'm going to show you how to recover that stitch. This will work whether you have just dropped the stitch and you're in the right place ready to bring it back to life, or whether you're at the end of the row and you've noticed that it's been falling for a while. The only extra piece of kit you'll need for this is a spare knitting needle or even better, a crochet hook of any size. Let's get going. Hi everyone, what we're going to do today is pick up a stitch when it's been dropped. And it's not unusual in knitting. It can happen if you have to stop in the middle of a row, if you maybe just miss a stitch or it falls off of your needle as you are knitting across the row. And you can see quite plainly here that all of these strands of yarn are from those rows as the stitch has dropped down and down and down and down. And what we're going to do is pick up that stitch and put it back on that needle. You can't do it from here, so what we're going to do is knit across until we get to that stitch. I'm going to do that now. There we are. So I'm now at that drop stitch. And what I would suggest for this is a crochet hook. You can use another knitting needle if you don't have a crochet hook, but it is so much easier to use a hook than it is a needle without that little shape at the end of it, which helps you pick up the stitch. And I would suggest in your knitting bag having different sizes of crochet hooks maybe just three or four so you have a small one a medium one just for the different types of yarn that you're likely to use this one is actually coincidentally the same size as the needle so we're going to have very similar shape and size stitch as we move up these rows so I'm going to pick up this stitch here and move the yarn, move the crochet hook underneath the next line of yarn. It's like a little ladder, so the first step is to pull that through the hook and we have a stitch on the next row. And then we just basically move through those steps of the ladder, creating a stitch with each step. And you can see it's really starting to look like it's part of the gang. There we go. And this stitch goes onto the left hand needle so it can be knitted as part of the row. And look at that. It looks really neat, really tidy. You wouldn't know that you'd dropped a stitch. So you can carry on knitting when you fix that, and it's not a problem. Thank you for watching. This tips and tricks video was taken from the Beginner's Baby Beanie e-course, available on my website knitwithhannah.co.uk for free. Please share any questions or comments for videos in the comments below. You can find me on Instagram. Please share your latest knitted, knitted projects with me at knitwithhannah, hashtag knitwithhannah. And of course you can also find me on YouTube, knitwithhannah. So you can like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. I'll see you again soon.